Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well, inshallah. Today I'm in Albania in Tirana. I arrived last night and this is the hotel. Absolutely stunning. It's called Castle Conti. I would definitely recommend it if you are staying here in Albania. There's a nice swimming pool outside. The only thing is it's quite far from the center. I think it's about a 50 minute drive. This country seems to be cash only. We need to go and find an ATM. We've now got a taxi arriving in 20 minutes to hopefully take us to an ATM so we can get cash. And then I think the bus works out about 50p into the town each day. Really darling. Mum's found a friend. <laughs> Just got a taxi now to the main square. They, as I said before, you need to have cash in this country, which we had absolutely none of and the poor taxi driver had no English and he needed, to, he needed to take us to three different banks because none of them accepted MasterCard. So finally, we found a bank, managed to get some cash out and he's now dropped us off at the main square. So this is our first stop here. So decorations here 2024 and then this is the main square here. So as we're here for one week and it's not our usual three day rush, we are gonna spread out our time here and we're just today we're just gonna take it easy, have a little walk around and we'll probably plan more things for the rest of the week inshallah. We've just spent about an hour in the taxi <laughs> <laughs> and it's difficult. I have felt quite a, a language barrier here and we just expect everybody to speak English, don't know, we? Know, we go to everyone's bad. country and expect them just to know English. Um, so the poor taxi driver, he kept putting a lady on the phone that had very good English. As we're walking down here, I'm noticing over there, there's a mosque, if you can see it through the trees. This was on a list that was recommended to come and visit. So inshallah, over the next few days, we will go there. I think, there's quite a few bunkers in Albania that have been converted into different things and there's one down there that I did notice in the taxi and it's an art museum. Hopefully we'll find time to go there as well, that'll be quite interesting I think. Just come into the shopping centre, this is the food court right now and look how many floors that are going down. I feel sick standing next to the glass in case it breaks. This shopping centre is so nice, it's right next to the main square. We've just stopped off now and got a pizza. It's really good because everything is halal here and there's no ham in the country, which is really, really nice. So we've just got a couple of milkshakes waiting for a pizza to come and we're just sitting here at the top of the shopping center watching the world go by. Banana milkshake and what did you go for? Fresh orange juice. Fresh orange juice. This mm -hmm. We went for a spicy pizza. This is beef on it with lots of cheese and spice. We've just come out from the restaurant and now all the lights are on. It's so beautiful at night time. All these wee tunnels, it goes around the gardens here. And then there's a little Christmas market over there. And this is where I showed you at the beginning that it says 2024. We're on the main street just now and I really want to show you. It's so beautiful with all the lights everywhere. across a little place just now it's called Cloud Pavilion and I don't know how to describe it I would say it's like a scaffolding and I've seen people walking on it and it says as well if you scan your the QR code at the door you can see different artworks around but I couldn't find where to actually scan the QR code I'm gonna have another look this is where it says here unlock the artwork by scanning QR code but I can't see one at all. And there's another sign here. Again, no QR code. So I'm not too sure. Maybe during the day they have a sign out or something. I'm not entirely sure. But this was actually one of the recommended things to do here in Tirana. So let's just have a look anyway. Mom's getting involved. Don't fall. <laughs> Is it glass? Oh, it feels like glass. It's like trying to find a trail, is it? You just find your own trail. Oh, maybe there's art. Oh, 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 oh,
there's, uh, arrows. there's arrows going everywhere, so maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Um, I don't know, the arrows have stopped now since I've got here and there's no more glass on these areas, but it goes quite high. This is the, one of the bunkers that was recommended to come to. It's been uh, converted into a museum and it's still open just now, so we're planning to go in just now. just entered just now and now we're walking our way through. we just came out here this is the exit and this was the star all the way over here I'm not sure if you can see it that little lit up circle that was the star cost 1,400 Albanian LEK which works out at 11 pounds 83 so not bad at all and that's us there back at the beginning the bus here with all the traditional clothing it's so nice and fridge magnets and just lots of little bits. It's really nice to see a bus with little trinkets on, I've never seen that before. We've just been walking down the road and we came across this, thousands of steps going all the way up and of course my mum wants us to go up so here we go. Finally made it to the top and you can see quite a nice view here of Tirana so pretty and then this is beneath me I'm not really sure what it is in there but it really doesn't feel too safe <laughs> this is the view from the other side it's so lovely at night time with all the lights I'm not even sure what this place is, but there's loads of walkways all the way around that take you to the end and they just kind of stop like this one, just going to barriers. And it's like that all the way around. I would say there's about 10 openings, but again, really nice. Lights everywhere. So, so beautiful, especially at night time. We've just come up another set of stairs. It's like a wonky looking house, which is opposite them stairs that we just went up. And then this is just another little view. Very nice, very quirky, different, something different to do. This is it here, it's like, it looks like two kind of wonky houses together. We have just arrived at the Mother Teresa Square. Massive square and there's a big statue over there. And then there's lots of Albanian flags just here. We have just arrived back to the hotel now. That's everything that we got up to on our first day. And inshallah, I will carry this vlog on and I will show you what we get up to for the rest of our time here in Albania. Let me just show you the hotel at night time. It is so, so stunning. Definitely stay at the Castle Conti if you're in Albania, but it is far from the main kind of area. It's about a 50 minute drive. That's the only downside to it. We are gonna hopefully look into getting a bus next time, inshallah. Good morning and welcome back to day two here in Tirana, Albania. Today we're planning on going up the mountain in a cable car. I think you start off in the city centre roughly and then you can go up and it should be about 12 euros each. We're now going to try and catch the bus into the town and there's actually a blue bus there. We were told wait on this main street and if we see a blue bus we have to flag him down and he should take us right into the centre one stop away so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna wait here and hopefully get the bus because we don't like to be spending too much money on taxis every place we go we like to try and keep it as cheap as possible so that's our plan today anyway and i'll take you guys along with us we can see a blue bus coming in the distance so we need to try and wave him down he's just coming down there wave him 
<laughs> I've already started. Here he comes. Oh, he's stopping here anyway, I think. Yeah. We just got off the bus into the city centre and it was so cheap. It was a hundred Albanian, I forget the currency now, but it works out about 50 pence each. So it was so cheap. Now we're heading off to the cable cars. It's an hour and 20 minute walk from the city. So let's go. As we're walking now, we're starting to see a mountain in front. And I think hopefully the cable car should be somewhere over there, somewhere soon. We've just walked up the massive hill and that's us arrived here, alhamdulillah. actually a hotel there's lots of activities so if you do come here you need to make sure that you ask for a return trip oh, oh, oh it's very high already are you scared <laughs> yeah how was this, the speed of it going that was when they go past you fast look. This cable car is actually going on forever <laughs> and it doesn't really feel like we're going up the mountain really it feels like we're just kind of going across it's really nice though to get a good view of everything you can see everybody's houses over there and then all the way up here oh you can see it over there it goes right up the mountain i've just got my phone on there doing a little time lapse <laughs> There you can see the whole of Tirana, the city. We are so high up. We didn't realise it was actually going to go this high. Any cable cars we've been on before, they've been really short journeys. <laughs> Mum's got herself really. Mum's got herself really nervous. But I've just noticed. I don't know if you can see up there right up to where the clouds go that is where the cable car is going i want to get off now <laughs> i don't want to keep going we've already come so far you can see the whole city over there look at that it's going straight up this is crazy that is a view behind us i'm not sure if you can even see how steep that is on camera The price of this was 2,000 Albanian LEK, I think it is, which works out roughly about 10 pounds each. I think like about 12 euros each. Sugar dumplings. <laughs> oh, no, 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 he's getting faster and nearer. I don't like it. You're just gonna have to live at the top of the mountain. <laughs> We're in the clouds completely now. We've made it, alhamdulillah. This is all the things you can do at the top. So there is a zip lining, hotel, mini golf. Not too sure what that is. Balcon oh balcony. And I'm not that rollerblading, I think. Oh what is a rollerblade? <laughs> it's so cold here though, you can feel the temperatures drop dramatically, of course, because we're up a mountain. There's lots of horses up here for you to have a horse ride. They have guns to do shooting just over here and the hotel was just at the main bit where we come out now up here I'm not too sure what there is but we're just gonna have a little walk around while we're here they have tea and coffee as soon as you come in it's really nice it feels like we've left Albania now and we're somewhere else Mum came well prepared and she took her gloves and her hat. <laughs> you can see just poking through the clouds there is the city of Tirana. We've just stopped off at the cafe to get a couple of hot chocolates. I just sit here with a nice view. We 
had to wait a while at the top because the weather was really bad. It was uh, quite bad hailstone. So we waited for about an hour and now the cable cars are back on and we are heading back down to the city. It's been raining the whole time pretty much since we came off the cable car, but we're just walking to the city centre. We are planning to see if we can get a bus to Kosovo and Montenegro. So there's an international bus station in the centre. So we're walking there just now. Hopefully they're still open and inshallah we can book a trip with them. One thing I've noticed about Albania is the traffic is always bad. Doesn't matter what time of day it is, whether it's morning, lunchtime, there's never rush hour. It's just always rush hour here. And the taxi said that as well. Quite a lot of them don't work during the day. They just work through the night because it's just too difficult to drive anywhere. It's just nose to tail and you're not getting anywhere. stopped off at a little bakery and I got this I thought it was a cream horn but it's empty in the middle <laughs> so I'm a little bit disappointed and mum got a chocolate donut that looks so good we made it to book some tickets for a bus tomorrow after going to a few shops inshallah tomorrow we're heading to Montenegro and then on Monday inshallah we're going to Kosovo so really really excited Really looking forward to it. Tomorrow it's going to start at 6 in the morning, so it's going to be a very early start. We need to be in the city centre, so I think we're going to get a taxi from the hotel roughly half four in the morning. Thank you guys for watching my Albania vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm planning on doing some more videos while I'm here, but I'm going to end this vlog here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, give me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next vlog, inshallah.